All right. Hey guys. Um, so thank you for coming on, even though it was short notice. Um, I am Nicole Shavokas, Human Residency Director, and um, or one of them. Uh, Nancy may be your other director. So uh, I just wanted to come on tonight and um, I did a poll on the Facebook group. So if you guys answered that poll, thank you for doing that. Um, one question was whether you'd rather come in um, and get together in person or on Zoom. And overall, it was Zoom, so that's why we're here. And then um, the other question I asked is what you guys were interested in learning about. So um, overwhelmingly, the biggest response was sales without parties. Um, so I should probably be having Nancy lead this call because she is like the most amazing pro at this. Um, but so we'll we'll bring her on in a bit to um, share with us what her secrets are as well. But I was just gonna pull up the poll on my screen here so I could see. Oh, here it is. Okay. So what to do? What, oh, that's not it. Anyway, most of you said sales without parties. So my disclaimer is I love parties. And I think it is a good value of your time because I always like to think about um, what kind of um, time I'm investing. And because ultimately this is a business and I want to be making money. So um, I don't know, you know, some of you may be, um, in this just as a hobbyist, which is okay too. Um, I personally am in it for the, um, the business aspect and to um, share this amazing company and in the end to make a good paycheck because I'm working on getting out of debt. So, um, and I did pay off one of my student loans last month, so that was exciting, <laughs> but I still have another giant one. So, um, getting higher sales without parties was what most people voted on. Um, then the next ones were sponsoring new team members and fundraisers. So we'll probably talk about a few of those things um, coming up as well. Um, so um, first, before we get into our subject, I wanted to give shout outs. So um, before we started the recording, we were chatting about the sale going on today. So um, all of our tabs are back, which is kind of exciting, but the sale continues until 9 a.m. Mountain, 10 a.m. Central, 11 a.m. Eastern, or 8 a.m. Pacific. So feel free to keep sharing the, the sale because it is up and running. Um, bigger customers, a heads up, it's Black Friday style, and there um, can be frustrations and things like that um, that can happen, you know, um, because of things selling out and wait times and things like that. So just set that expectation for your customers. Giovanna, I don't know if we can hear you every once in a while. Um, if you just tap your screen, if you're on your phone, um, you can mute yourself. Keep hearing a little something now and then, so I don't know. It may not be you, but if you can, that'd be awesome. So from this morning before the sale, we as a group have sold $2,200, $244. That's kind of exciting. Um, and I'm just going to do quick shout outs. So first of all, I want to congratulate Nancy Anderson and Whitney Warmkessel for sponsoring new team members this month. And I want to give a warm welcome to Melissa Owens. Owen? Owens. Um, sorry, I don't know if you have an S on the end of your name. <laughs> I just wrote it down earlier. Um, and Christina Shelby. So welcome, welcome, welcome. So excited that you guys have joined us. And um, Hey, Giovanna, I can see your face now. <laughs> so you can just tap your screen and, and click mute. The little microphone should come up. Um, and you can click um, audio. Perfect. Awesome. All right. So um, congratulations to those ladies for growing their team. So exciting. Um, 
and I wanted to give a shout out um, to top sales so far. So, um, Evelyn, you are in the lead at 1585. Um, Nancy at 1358. Raven Walls is 945. Myron Meisnick is 581. Whitney Warncastle, 548. Roseanne King, 529. Erica Paredes, 510, Heather Thompson, 506, Tamson Allen, 482, and Krista Woody, 479. So congratulations to all of you guys who are rocking your sales. It is only the 15th of the month, and most of you already have 500 in PRB, which is um, super awesome because um, as we move up the sort of Sensi pay scale and the Sensi ladder, in order to get any of the leadership bonuses, we personally have to sell $500. So kudos to all of you for getting those sales in. Okay, so um, let's actually real quick. Um, uh, give a shout out. I wanted to give a shout out to Shannon Neff. She is celebrating six years with Sensi. Congratulations, Shannon. Sheila Noyes is celebrating five years. Jennifer Crane is celebrating four years. To scroll down my list, sorry guys. Um, Amy Paul is one year. And I think that's it for Centiversaries. All right, and then I think we only have one birthday this month, and it is Sierra Bridger. So happy birthday, Sierra. To make sure I'm not remembering correctly. Okay, perfect. All right, so thank you guys for listening to those little shout outs. All right, so now let's talk about how in the world can we increase our sales without parties? So like I said, I do love parties and I'm a big fan of basket parties and that is what I've been rocking the last two months um, because I can pass them a basket and um, with some testers, some catalogs, some order forms, and some instructions, and then they take it and they're like a little employee for me and they turn it back in. Um, with my basket parties, um, and I guess this is kind of like not a party, but um, where you're not actually doing like a presentation in front of people, but um, I've started doing like challenges to my hosts. So, like if you do this, that, or the other thing, then you can get extra free gifts. So things like getting outside orders from out of town, um, like direct ship through the online link, um, or getting every order form with name, address, phone number, and email, um, getting over 500 in sales, getting, um, what else is on my list? I can um, post it in Skyward Bound after we're done, but um, I've been doing those things to try to boost my basket party sales. Some. So I know that's technically a party, but it's not like a, where you're presenting. All right, so um, things like the flash sale. So that's a way to get some sales. So I hope you guys are promoting this. And honestly, the best way to promote it is one-on-one. -on -one. So calling people up, shooting them a text message, doing a private message on Facebook, don't do group text, texts, you guys. Those are annoying. Um, people don't respond well to them. And if someone just replies, then everybody gets to reply. And so it's kind of a pain. So um, if you have the opportunity to do some kind of group text where it's not actually a group text, um, where it doesn't, hey, Heather, um, where it doesn't come on as a group text, then that is a great way to do it. Um, if you can, Heather, you can just mute yourself. If you push the little microphone, I'll mute you. Um, not that you're making any noise, but just in case. <laughs> um, so share the flash sale. Share, share, share. You never know um, what people are going to do. You know what I mean? So share it on social media, yes. Um, but one-on-one, -on -one, a private text message, a private Facebook message, a little video chat, 
a Snapchat filter, you know, doing things like that are going to be more beneficial and more bang for your buck. And remember, the flash sale goes on until tomorrow morning. So take advantages of situations like this. Events. So events are a great way to build your PRB, um, but a lot of the fortune is in the follow-up. So, um, and you can do, you know, lots of little events. I personally prefer the small ones because I don't want to spend a lot on events. Um, and I personally think events are a little more work than a party because you're bringing your stock. Unless it's in a retail location, then you cannot sell stock. You can take orders, you can have a small display, and you can share the opportunity and book parties, um, but you can't sell stock. So, um, just be cognizant of those things, but like church bazaars, craft fairs, you know, things of that nature just um, are a great way to build um, your business and to meet new people. So, but I highly, highly recommend that you use drawing slips. So um, in the Skyward Bound page, in the file section is um, a drawing slip that you can print off and you can download it and print it off. And it is, um, A good way to get people's contact information so that you can follow up. So I just did a little event um, last weekend. Last weekend? Time flies. Um, and I think I sold about $70 at the event or $80, something like that. Um, but I got drawing slips. So um, I'm starting to follow up with those drawing slips. And really, I probably should have done it last week because um, the kind of hot time to follow up is within, you know, like 24 to 72 hours. Um, I've also decided I'm gonna mail everybody a sample. Um, so they're getting a little something from me, which is a little bit more time consuming and a little bit more expense, but um, I'm gonna try to make these um, people bonded to me so that um, when they think of Sensi, they think of me. So events. Events are great. How do you find events? So um, ask your friends and family, hey, what are you guys doing this weekend? Are you guys going to any events? I know, um, I think, I think it was last weekend, Sacred Heart, I think, had an event as well. And were you there? <laughs> good, good. I'm like, I don't even know if there was a Scentsy lady there. So there were six Scentsy ladies there? The sixth year, <laughs> I can't read. I don't. I can't read your lips. <laughs> you can unmute yourself, Nancy, if you want to say what you're going to say. You're gonna write it. <laughs> six hundred dollars. Awesome. So that's huge, you know. So that six hundred dollars in PRV that she didn't have prior to that event, plus if she did drawing slips, you did drawing slips for Nancy. <laughs> Naughty, shame on you. <laughs> but you got order forms written out, right, with contact information. I hope. Nancy, what are you doing? <laughs> so um, learn from Nancy's mistakes and get people's contact information so that you can follow up. At the very least, friend them on Facebook if you're a Facebook person or, you know, whatever, so that you have a way to follow up because then you want to get them into your VIP group and things like that. Um, so that you can continue to um, be their sense of lady. Um, so ask, um, ask friends and family, ask on Facebook. Um, if you know other direct sellers, say you have a Pamper Chef lady or a Lip Sense lady, um, and you'd label, oh, good idea. So um, you have to label everything, <laughs> everything that links your hands. Um, and I will tell you guys a funny story about labeling in a second. So, um, to find, find these events, ask around. Um, ask other direct sellers, you know, what are you guys, what events are you guys doing this year? And I think it's always wise to ask if there's another Sensi consultant when you go to sign up because you don't want to pay for an event and then, um, I mean, you can do an event with another Scentsy person and you both can definitely be successful. And I tend to find that Scentsy booths are the most um, popular and the most busy compared to other vendors. So um, you could do it, but um, to protect your investment and your time invested in it, I would try to find events that there aren't other consultants at, other Scentsy consultants. 
Um, so, you know, ask around. And you can Google it too, events in your area and find some that way. But my favorite ones are ones that are like $30 or less <laughs> to, to um, pay for. Like how much was Sacred, Sacred Heart? Did, it, did it, they have a fee or some places, 25 bucks. So $25 investment plus her day and she got $600 in PRB. So plus um, people with her labels on their stuff. <laughs> so this morning I get a phone call from a private number and it's this lady with an accent and I'm thinking, okay, it's some tall harder. And she's like, I was on your website and I'm trying to buy bars. And this is before the sale even started. Uh, but I can't find bars. I can only find circles. Is that what you put in a warmer? And I'm like, no, you put circles in a warmer. And um, she's like, can you just order for me? I'm like, sure. I still have no idea who I'm talking to. She's like, I just want to buy it. So there's a fly flying in my head. She's like, I just want to buy a gift for my friend and I just want to direct ship it to her. And I'm only in town for the day and so I'm just going to have you ship it to her. And I'm like, okay, well, I could meet you if you want. And she's like, well, I'm really busy today and I don't know if I have time. And so just ship it. And I'm like, okay, that's fine. So she just wants three bars. She's like, I'm so sorry to bother you for such a small order. I'm like, I'm happy to order for you. It's eight bucks shipping. If that's okay, then I'll do it. And um, still don't know the lady's name yet. So she gives me the name and address of her friend who's in Texas. So then um, I get all of her contact information and nothing is ringing a bell. I don't know this lady from Adam. So um, finally, at the end, and she gives me her credit card number to order it and everything. And so I get it ordered and she's like, my, my other friend wants to talk to you. And I'm like, okay. And this lady gets on the phone and she's like, oh yeah, I used to be in Farmington, but now I live in Gallup. Well, they're all in Texas right now visiting some friend. The original lady is from Maryland, um, but they got my contact information off of this catalog that this lady has from that now lives in Gallup. She's like, I'm gonna order two. I just, I don't know what I want yet. So I'll call you later. And it turns out the catalog they had was from 2010 with my contact information on it. So now the one lady ordered for her friend, um, I'm gonna be following up with her too. So hopefully she'll order. And then the lady from Gallup hopefully will order. So labeling my catalogs, um, in 2010 has proven to be um, important. So label everything that leaves your hands. Okay, so um, another way to get sales without parties is... Uh, that also means somebody's a hoarder. Right? I'm like, what are you taking a catalog to Texas with you on your vacation? <laughs> or whatever, I don't know the story, but... Um, yeah, so sweet. Thank goodness. And I did have a different website back then, so the only thing I can figure is they were on my old website or something, which doesn't, I don't know, doesn't even exist anymore, I guess. So I don't know what they were looking at, but they couldn't find bars. But thank goodness she called me. Okay, so fundraisers are another way that you can get sales without um, hosting a party <laughs> or without parties. So last month, I had um, a customer that orders regularly from me, um, usually just like a six pack here and there, and she saw on my catalog, um, asked me about fundraisers. Well, it turns out her daughter's in dance and they had, you know, like about $300 in expenses that they had. And <clears throat> so she was like, oh, can I go send a fundraiser? Of course. So she ended up doing like $850 in um, orders from just, just her, just from her friends and family. So I gave her a basket and an online link and some catalogs and order forms and she did the rest. So tell everyone about fundraisers. Post on Facebook, hey, if you had $500 to give to your um, favorite charity, what charity would you choose? or something like that. And then you can private message them and say, hey, we have this way through Sensi, you know, would you like to raise money for that charity? Um, 
So always keep fundraisers on your mind. And um, when, when people order, mention them, when, you know, um, think of schools, clubs, organizations, churches, youth groups, you know, all of those kinds of things need to raise money. So um, if you ask them, um, they are likely to do, do one. Um, so, and we can go into that more in detail on another call because um, that was another thing on the list to talk about. But fundraisers can be a great way to improve your PRB. Yes, you are donating your commission or a portion of your commission, but you're going to be getting new contacts because you're going to get everybody's name, address, phone number, and email, and then your workstation, right? Right, Nancy? And <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> and, um, and then you can keep all the host rewards. And so then you can sell those products at fairs and shows that you're doing so that you can make your money back. Um, and follow up with each person and maybe, who knows, maybe the person that coordinated the fundraiser will want to join your team. Maybe, um, who knows, what fundraisers can turn into. They can be lots and lots of um, good leads and um, good PRB. So follow up. Follow up is a huge way to make extra PRB. And um, honestly, I'm probably good for at least 500 to 1,000 PRB every month just from follow up. Um, just from people that have ordered in the past that now thanks to Maven, Yes, if you're not on Maven, you should be. Um, it's free for a month, so if you haven't tried it out, use it. If not, you need to be doing some sort of follow-up system. So for those of you that don't know about Maven, it's an app that has partnered with Cincy. There is a fee for it, but it's free for the first month to try it out. And it, and it syncs with our workstation, so every time you get an order, it puts their contact information in, as long as you enter it in the workstation. And then you can follow up with them via text, email, snail mail, whatever, Facebook even, you can link it to their Facebook account. So um, to do it in Messenger. And it even does like a pre-made little text that you can send so you don't even have to think too hard about it. Um, usually I try to personalize those somewhat, but it's a great way not to forget about your customers. Um, so um, if you're doing your own follow-up system, just go through your workstation, click on your contacts tab and if you click on, um, there's a, a, a column called orders or last order, last purchase. And if you click on it once, it puts them in um, descending order. So people that have not purchased from you that are in your workstation. And then if you click it again, it will put them in descending order so that, um, the most recent person that ordered from you um, is first. So like right now I, I clicked on it and on mine I can see everybody that ordered today from the flash sale. So you can then click on them and contact them and say thank you for your order. Um, everybody that orders online from me, I send a little thank you card in the mail um, with a sensor code. I figure I didn't have to track them down to collect the money. I didn't have to deliver the order. I didn't have to tie it up with a ribbon. Um, so to me, it's worth that cent circle, which I get for three and a half price with host rewards in a six pack. So at most I'm paying $7.50 for six of them. Um, but usually I get them a lot of times for free even with host rewards. So um, to me, it's worth it to do that. But if that's above your budget, then do a nice little thank you card in the mail. Um, so following up the, with those people, everybody that ordered recently, say thank you. Um, since he talks about the 222 plan, so um, two days after they order, two weeks after they order, and two months after they order. So the two day might just be, hey, thank you so much for your order. The two week is, hey, did you get everything? Are you enjoying it? Do you have any questions? And then the two month might be, hey, you're probably going to get order. What can I help you get? Do you need any gifts or? Wax refills, light bulbs, hand creams, whatever. So um, make sure you're doing a good follow-up system because lots and lots of money is being left on the table if you're not doing that. To do follow-up, you need to get contact information. So drying slips are huge. Um, 
So if they order from your website, it's easy because they have to put it all in in order to order. But um, if you're meeting people randomly, I also pass out samples when I'm out and about. Um, so if I'm in the grocery line and it's a long line, I might give a sample to the person behind me or in front of me. And then I say, hey, fill this out and I'll put you in my drawing. Um, the checker at Walmart, I'll give them a sample and I'll say, hey, fill this out and I'll put you in my drawing. I don't ask them, I just hand it over and have them write it down. And, or the gym, the nail salon, the whatever, you know, if you're getting drawing slips out and about, um, then you can follow up and build relationships with those people and then click their orders, or parties, help them join your team, that kind of stuff. All right, another way to get sales without having a party is with boxes. <clears throat> and again, Nancy should probably be running this, but you can do your own with boxes, um, which is just a mystery scent box, mystery bag, you can call them whatever you want. Um, so essentially you are assigning a price and then putting things in it. Um, in order to be compliant, you have to give as many items um, or as much full price items as you're charging. So you can use host rewards and things like that and bundling in order to give them extra items for the same um, cost. I, don't, I saw a little hand raised, but I didn't know what it meant. Somebody wanting to talk, you can need to pop in if you need to. Um, so we also have with boxes through Sensi now. So you do not have to create your own. You can just have people buy the one from Sensi. And um, there is a video on my business page. Did I share that to you guys? I don't think I did. So I'll share it to Skyward Bound so you guys can see what was in the WIF box last month um, by Sensi. And um, you know, you can get people to sign up for Sensi Club and get a WIF box every month, or maybe they. Um, Maybe they want um, to get washer whiffs every month. So get them signed up for Sensi Club so that it's a recurring order. People are into subscriptions lately. Think of Netflix, think of Hulu. You know, that's kind of what people do these days. So um, if you can get them signed up for Sensi Club, that's gonna be repeat PRV every single month, every other month, and every few months, depending on how often they sign up for it. So you can really push that to your customers um, and using things like booth boxes or consumables that um, people don't want to run out of, like laundry stuff, um, wax, you know, um, counter clean, all of those kinds of things. Um, we can also do personal specials. Um, I like to make personal specials that are really just bundling so that it's not anything out of your pocket. And I really don't like to do specials that often, but if you're in a crunch and you really need some PRV, you can create some kind of personal special. You just cannot share it on social media publicly. Um, but you could email it <clears throat> or text message it or call people and tell them about it, but you couldn't show it in a video on your VIP page or things like that. You have to um, do it privately for personal specials. Okay, VIP pages. Um, so though that is a group that you create on your Facebook that you invite your customers to. Um, you don't add anybody without asking. Um, and then you can post, you know, all the latest stuff. You could do sneak peeks and reveals and things like that and then really work on sharing your story um, and your journey rather than a lot of salesy stuff um, in order to um, add value. You know, share things from the Sensi blog, um, try to give them value for what you're, um, for being in that page so that they feel like it's valuable. Um, and then, you know, obviously you're gonna be sharing the, the new stuff coming out too, so people are gonna buy stuff, but, um, your VIP page can be a great way to make some extra PRV um, without hosting for it. And that is pretty much everything that I have on my list. You guys have any questions about anything?
smooth as pie. Nancy left us. So, any questions, Nancy? I, I talked about everything I had on my list. Do you want to come on and, and share anything that you do every month to make sure that you're over 2,000 PRB without having a party? <laughs> oh. uh -oh. I don't know what I do. Oh, where'd you go? Can you hear me? What? I, I said... I don't know. I just think passing my information out for so long has paid off that because I really don't do anything. Well, okay. Let's let me back. Half my sales every month is people just calling me and telling me what they want and what they need, which, and I think I, that, and that's over a thousand dollars every month. I think that happened because I just keep passing out my information. The other half I get is my with my scent boxes. That's the best thing I could have ever started because since I started it, I haven't missed a month of hitting two thousand dollars plus. So, I mean, it's like they always say: the most important thing is to keep sharing, sharing right. with everybody. Well, and I know you work a lot when there's like something cool coming out you get a lot of pre-orders so that's something i didn't mention is collecting pre-orders on things but i won't i don't usually will start that till around the 25th of every month so i don't hurt that month sales right because you don't want them to say no no i don't want a whiff box i'm waiting to get that warmer or whatever you mm -hmm. want them to commit to the whiff box and then get the warmer as well <laughs> so to speak because next month's warmer that thing is cute that and is. I didn't pay attention, so I didn't upgrade my scent of the month, so I'm going to have to wait and just buy it. But that's going to be a big seller. I'll bet anything. And I'll really start pushing that around the 25th. Right after I do my close my with boxes, I'll start pushing that for the rest of the month. So how but do you get your with box subscribers? Uh, my What I did the to start it out the very beginning, I somebody gave me their verbiage. I copied it, um, changed a couple things. You know me, I'm a good copier. <laughs> I think my initial story is Nicole's story. <laughs> I just reworded it a little bit on my website, changed it. Um, but I text everybody in my phone that wasn't Cincy that wasn't already selling Cincy or friends that I've made in Cincy. And I ended up with 32 boxes for the very first time. But I have a lot of contacts. I right. get everybody's phone number. I always you average them. every month for your with boxes for the number. Um, it's always 50 plus. So 50 is a thousand dollars. Say that again. Every 50 I sell is a thousand dollars. Um, I, my average of with boxes is 50 plus and every and 50 is thousand dollars. Cause I only so saw, I do mine for 20 bucks. It's a reasonable 20. price. Everybody, you know, nobody's ever said, Oh, well, that's expensive. I've never had anybody say that. God, I look scary. Don't I? No, you don't. But, uh, <laughs> so do you charge tax then on that too? So that and, then if so, and then if I have to ship them, that's another seven twenty five. I don't, the only thing I pay for is the extra $1 item that I put in the box. It, well, besides the box, but I also do a, um, what's it called? Like a recycle program? The what? Recycle. I tell everybody I'm a recycler. So I think, look at, you can't see it. I can, my corner is full of boxes that they people return. So that keeps my cost down on that too. I have one box that I'm getting ready to use it. Well, my stamp's done in red, so I'm going to save it for Christmas, but that's going to be the third time I've used them. Nice. So, I mean, I have to add some new ones to it, but I get a lot of them back. I need to ch stop changing the color though, but I color <laughs> coordinate everything. <laughs> so That's awesome. 
But and nobody wants to do a party for me. I'm just the opposite. Nobody mm -hmm. wants to do a party. They'd rather just call and give me their order. I'd well, love to. The customers that order regularly don't need to have a party, but then I have customers that like to do a party every six months or so. So um, you never know. And, you know, kind of what we focus on grows. So if, if you want to do parties, you can focus on that. If you don't want to, there are other things that you can focus on. So, and focus on your strengths. You know what I mean? If you um, really love to put things together and make them cute, maybe you should start your own with box. You know what I mean? If, if that's not something that you're into, I think it's super fun, but I'm already busy enough to, I see the work that you go through to package all those every month. Um, it's like, stressful. Right. If, if, you know, my life slows down a little bit, maybe I'll start doing them because they're super cute. But now we have the Scentsy with boxes that the corporate makes. So, you know, we can also tap into those if, um, you know. We People are already starting to be like, eh. Hmm? They like the personal ones better. I haven't had anybody stop buying the personal one to buy that one yet. I have not even sold one. Yeah, I haven't really pushed them, honestly. But, but I, you know, I think last month I had over 4,000 in sales. So it's not like I am hurting to do something else right now. So, but if I was, that would be something that, you know, could definitely pick up and do. So. I like, I like. Cool, cool. All right. Does anybody else have anything that's really working for them that helps boost sales without parties or something that you're doing a little bit different or um, questions or anything like that? Just unmute yourself and come on. Evelyn's going live every day. Come on, Evelyn, tell us about it. She's awesome. You have to unmute yourself. Okay. I know what I do is I do go live every day, but what has helped me is that I have a Scentsy Club myself. And what I did is I had seven ladies or men pick a month, and the other six ladies or gentlemen have to at least spend $35 a month and they automatically get their thirty-five or their $210 party and then whatever else they get. Um, so the last two parties that I've had have had already over $1,200. So that's how I have, um, one was in Farmington, I did a house party. And then my aunt, she just closed out a party just like, like on the 10th or the 11th, but she wasn't in my club. She just, I'll do one, I was like, what? Okay, but um, yeah, so that's what I do. And then I also do my mystery bags. I don't do like, it's like the whiffer whiff boxes, but I only limited myself to like 10 or 12. Um, that's just where I'm comfortable at as of right now. Uh, eventually I'll go out and do more, but like Nancy does, I do go live and explain different things, um, show a different item every time I do go live. And that has actually helped me tremendously too. So are you going live on your personal page or in your VIP group? or business? My VIP group. I have not went live on my personal page yet. Um, Nancy did tell me, go live on your, on your page like you're doing laundry or something. And then just show them what you're using. Because I do, do use the, lip, the laundry mm -hmm. stuff. I, I don't know what it is with going live on my regular page then versus my VIP page. Because pretty much all of them are on my VIP page, but I don't know. I have to do it, but not yet. <laughs> well, and that's okay because, you know, I mean, you have the people that are there have agreed to be in that group. So that's what they're expecting to see. You know what I mean? Yeah. So, I mean, you can definitely have great success going on your regular page. Um, and maybe you could do something like, um, hey, here's a little sneak peek of what happens in my VIP page you know, um, this is what we're doing today. And if you want to get into my VIP page, comment below or something like that. And then you can kind of build, build it up that way um, or whatever you want. But I, I try to keep my Sensi traffic less on my regular page only because I don't want um, one, 
you know, being a veterinarian, sometimes I feel like I'm cross promoting a little bit. <laughs> so for one, you know, just kind of the logistics of things, I, I don't want to, um, I don't know, bombard the, that page with my sensey stuff, but I do share stuff. Um, matter of fact, I shared about the um, the sale, but I did it in a way that wasn't like sensey in your face, which I'm learning to do better because I'm, I'm not super great at social media either, but um, live video is huge. And so less, you know, and then, you know, doing more kind of attraction marketing or sharing your journey style stuff. Um, so I posted pictures of my dogs and mentioned the sale at the end. So, you know what I mean? Like we can do things like that where it's not just like, hey, check out this warmer or this buddy and buy from me. It's more like, this is what I'm up to, check it out. People are gonna be much more receptive about that than, um, you know, like sales flyers and things like that. So, and doing that in your VIP groups too can be super helpful, um, but also going live. One thing that I have thought of, but haven't really made it um, consistent yet, which sometimes I kind of suck at consistency, but anyway, is I've thought about just pulling something that I think is a cool deal from the closeout section of the page. And I know the closeout section will be a little bit wiped out after the sale, but um, you know, kind of just scrolling the closeout section and then doing kind of like a deal of the day, either on my business page or on my VIP page and kind of posting that, you know, with maybe a link straight to that item. So, you know, it's not a personal special or anything like that. It's straight from the um, website, but you know, people aren't checking the closeout section that often, or maybe they're not even going to our website, but if they see that kind of sort of deal of the day, maybe that will encourage them to check it out. So um, that's something that I have thought about doing, but haven't been very consistent about doing yet. So um, that's another way to grow your PRV without having fun. So um, I know to like building your business through social media, you have to be more present. So live video is huge. So um, that can really help to build your presence um, and get people to know you and, to, you know, because people do business with who they like and trust. So if they can see your face and hear you talking and, you know, get to know you that way, they're going to be more likely to purchase from you. All right. Anyone else have anything they want to share? Um... <laughs> I'm like, who's talking? <laughs> oh, I was getting ready to say, um, I dropped something. I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, are we going to, do you know, will they um, come out with bricks for November again, you think? I don't know. I haven't heard anything. I know they did it the last two years in a row, so it's possible, but I don't know yet. There's Nora. Hey, <laughs> Nora. She been on the whole time? Uh, about halfway through, I think. Oh, I only I only see, can see four people's faces. Yeah, if you scroll over, that's what happened a second ago. I couldn't see you anymore because somehow your video got wiped to the next screen or whatever, but... Nora, do you have any questions? Huh? I was asking Nora if she had any questions. You got to tap the screen and hit unmute. Are you on your phone? Are you on your phone? If you tap the bottom, it should bring up a little menu. Okay, there we go. Do you have any Not, questions? No, I think don't think so right now. I'm just um, a little disappointed on today's uh, uh, Monday Madness with my customers because I didn't see any changes on my stuff. So, um, but I did advertise and stuff, so I don't know what happened. Don't feel bad. I have I, personal touches. I have one person, than, you know. 
broad we, posts on pages because sometimes people don't see those or they don't um, kind of know what's going on. So like a personal text message or something, maybe go through, you know, people that ordered from you last month or the month before and just say, hey, um, or maybe like three months ago, you know, look at your contacts tab and search the filter for uh, well, I did send question. out uh, text messages and I did private messages also and several private messages to different groups. But um, cool. did people I don't respond know. to your messages at all or not so much? Some did, yeah. The private messages they did and I assumed that they would. Um, but so you might go I, on now and see who those people were that responded and just say, hey, I know this morning the sale was kind of chaos. And or down a little bit. Um, it goes until tomorrow morning. Feel free to check it out. But it's done at 9 a.m. So make sure you get on tonight before the, the good stuff is gone. So okay. Uh, um, good thing is awesome. somehow I did manage to pick up a new customer last week. <laughs> awesome. That's good. <laughs> well, only because she, um, since I'm at home and I can't l drive or anything, being her, um, I ended up giving her a book. She brought me dinner that evening. Oh, and nice. uh, she was on my group, but she had never paid attention to it. And I gave her the book, and that evening she post, she paid, um, she did an order. So I guess that's a good thing. Awesome. Yep. Yeah. Are you one at a time? Yep. Yeah, but I'm hoping that it'll pick up faster now for the holidays. So, mm -hmm. yeah. But other than that, I'm hanging in there. Awesome. Great job. Eight steps. Yeah. And I'll always you, take Do you have any questions or anything? Can you, know, can you get yourself unmuted? Just going to say who? No, actually, I don't really have any questions right now. Um, like everybody else is saying, you know, I'm just doing, trying to do um, the sales right now. I'm actually going to be closing out my party on the, the, my first party on the 18th. So, so far, I have 130 so far. Awesome. That's Seven good. More to go and you have a qualifying party. Yeah, so I'm trying to get there a little bit. I still have some orders coming in. Um, some of my coworkers are still trying to um, place their orders. So, and then some of them are actually in um, interested in the Sensi Club. Nice. So I'm trying to get them, you know, to see if they still want to order into Sensi Club and whatnot in that too. So definitely. Yeah. Are they still able to get into that Sensi Club? I didn't think they were. Yeah, that's going to be forever. Oh, okay. I thought there was a deadline for it. That was just to get the stuff that was discontinued. Oh, okay. Okay. So they can get in it now, but they can't get the discontinued items that just went out for the summer. So okay. they can, but anything that's current, they can subscribe to to have a recurring shipment. So say they use a tub of washer whips every month, they could just subscribe to it and have it shipped automatically so you don't even have to do anything. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, I guess I could advertise that more then or, or push it a little bit. Yeah, more. shoot. If you can get, you know, $200 to, you know, in Fancy Club orders, if that happened every month, then you'd automatically be active every month. You know what right. I mean? If you, can, you know, find enough people to do that, um, you're, you're already starting yeah. off on the right foot and then everything else is bonus. Yeah, I, should, I think I'll do that. I'll push it a little bit more than... I have been. I, I assume that I didn't do it. I just did it that one time because I thought that that was going to be it. Or, I mean, they were just going to have it for a certain amount of time and that was it. Yep. Nope. It's all the time. But the items that went out, that was what was limited. And then, of course, um, for Bring Back My Bars coming in January, what people were just voting for, we'll have the opportunity to... Um, get into Scentsy Club for those bars so that they can get them forever. So if you, you know, something comes back that you have a customer that absolutely loves it, right. um, you know, those are the people we really wanted to get into Scentsy Club so that they can um, get that scent forever, you know, in a bar form. Okay. 
But like I have a customer that loves pumpkin cinnamon swirl. And so she's going to sign up for Scentsy Club now for that. So she automatically has her pumpkin cinnamon swirl coming. And then in the spring, when it probably will get discontinued, she'll keep getting it in her subscription. Because as long as you keep it in your subscription, she'll always get it. So, and, you know, unless she cancels her subscription. And she, you know, they won't make her burn anymore if it's discontinued. But for, you know, those, those scents that kind of go out every you know, season change, people that don't want to give those up can do so. Too. So, all right, well, I'm going to stop the recording. Thank you guys so much for coming on. It's always um, so much more fun when we have live participants. So thank you guys for that. And for those of you that couldn't come on live and are watching the recording, we so appreciate you watching the recording too. And um, I will post it in the group as soon as I get it and I'll email it out to everybody. So thank you all. Have a fabulous evening and talk to you soon. Oh, I am um, starting coaching calls too. If you guys want to chat, I'm going to put a coaching call link on the page. Um, in the next few days. I probably won't do it tonight, but um, so watch for that. And I'd love to chat with you guys one on one. So if you need anything, don't hesitate to holler. Um, we're all here to help each other. So have a great night and happy Monster Monday. Remember, we have it until 9 a.m. Mountain tomorrow. Yes, we're so glad y'all came on live and not dead. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't come on dead. Well, I had to download the app. I didn't have the app, so um, then I seen it too late, but it was already like 20 minutes into the call. So well, you I can never to the recording to catch the beginning stuff um, when I post it, too. Okay. All right. Thanks, guys. Have a great night. Guys, do the same. Good night. Bye.